Okay, I'm Geodav and in this video it's basically going to be the very very first video that I'm going to do for Blender and Unreal Engine 4. So please bear with me because right now, well as I've noticed this morning, Blender has now released the full version of 2.7. Now which works out quite nicely for me because I was wanting to wait for this one before I started doing any Unreal Engine 4 videos. So as you can see Blender 2.7 and let's go for it. Now the first thing that you're going to notice when using Unreal Engine 4 and Blender it's pretty much the same as with UDK but more extreme. Uh, you might say what on earth is on about well we're going to go about size and scale okay if you haven't noticed already in unreal engine 4 the scale of one unreal unit is one centimeter okay if you haven't read that read up on that then please be aware now as you if you're a regular blender user you will know that this little box here if i remember rightly is actually two by two by two now that means if you import this into unreal engine 4 you will have a two centimeter well a two unit size cube which is not going to be very good let me show you by example now, part of the latest version of Blender is that you get a FBX import. Okay, it's not fantastic because it doesn't do rigs, but it will import FBX files. Now, what I done just a couple of minutes ago, I went to my Unreal projects, my uh, well not tutorials TP uh, I did pick a reason for that but it's the uh, first person oh template that's right template first person shooter blueprint all right so I made one of them and I actually exported the hero TTP file or skeletal mesh as a FBX file now we can import this and when you do that it goes uh, it's all gone gray but if you look down here in the bottom corner you will see there's a bit of dark gray and the reason for that is if I zoom out and zoom out and zoom out you go oh look you have got the mesh you haven't if I pull this down here you will see well, and get it a bit wider I've still got a very old monitor here and not a lot of screen space so please bear with me right so you didn't get the rig but you did get the mesh okay which is very useful for us because it will now give us something to work with so what I'm going to do here is, let's see, is it one? No. Is it seven? No, it's three. Right. <laughs> uh, not perspective, orthology. Yeah. And now we're going to rotate X and 90. No, wrong. Uh, control Z. No. Right, ortho. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why. Let's let me. <laughs> I do apologise for this. Rotate, and we'll just do it like that. Just eyeball it for the moment. Okay, let's go back in the front view. We are now happy. Uh, yeah. Okay, I just thought I boo booed there. I'm, I still can't get my head around the controls because I use that many different programs and they're all different. But if we go scrolling all the way in here, you will see our little box. 
now obviously if you go to the camera view you will not see anything because the camera's in there as well okay so what we're going to do with this all right first thing i'm going to do is select everything and delete the lot and we can go back down to our grid so then we now we've got all these tabs here i've still not i don't really use blender that much but we'll go into pressing n i know there's somewhere where you can pick that up and all the rest of it and let's see what we're looking at uh, display all right you might want to change your lines down to 10 not 16 anymore why because in unreal engine 4 we now use a decimal system for your grid snapping so no longer is it the power 2 where you use 2 4 6 8 16 32 64 blah 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 no it's down to 1 5 10 25 50 100 whatever okay so we can go into decimals and you don't have to get your head round using the power of two so at the scale i'm still i'm going to bump that up to a hundred and then i'm going to zoom out and you see we still get the clip we get the the viewport clip in there uh, clip there start there let's change that up to oh, whoops uh that's a hundred that's a thousand that's ten thousand make that a hundred thousand and hit return there we go and we can zoom out and yeah that's nice okay so i'll leave the start at that just in case you've got to get really really in deep doing your details yeah now what we're going to do you can what I'm going to do here is save this file out. Uh, not on the. Uh, this is. I still need to do more and more. I'm going to save this scene as UE4 startup. Okay, happy with that. Save that. Now I'm just doing that to be on the safe side. Because what we're going to do now is import that skeleton, that mesh again, and actually not too bad. So having it set at a scale of a hundred, I suppose, works quite nicely. And if I get back into there and rotate it there, okay, that's nice and was that round there now that's quite nice to work with i quite like that i'm impressed seeing as i didn't even try this initially i think let's just press and get rid of that now as a, a little reminder uh where is it uh, it's gone hasn't it it's in here somewhere not there there we go create create a cube and that's actually quite nice hey last time we've done this uh it gave us another two square cubes so now uh, if we take that up there and that's well we're going to put that at a height of 100 because this cube that we've just made uh, uh, press N again, get it back out. Let's see if we can find what I'm looking for. Probably can't because it's all moved and changed. And it has. Uh, okay. Well, what I'll do is just delete. No, not in edit mode. Come on. Object mode. There we go. Hang on dimensions here we go ah, at last okay dimensions is 200 by 200 by 200 and you cannot see that that little guy in the back so what we're going to do is let me just scroll in here a bit just for your information 
Now, if I skip, bring this down slowly, 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 slowly. Now we can see his feet. Ah, uh, yeah, because it's going from the centre, and I should have went there. Right, you can see his feet there, and you can see the top of his head there. Now, if I make this box 192, if I remember rightly, and position that at... No, no I can't remember. Yeah. Is that that two? Get it right. 96. Come on. Simple maths. Now, if I... Whoa. If I scroll around like that, you can't see it. And if I move it down, a little touch, you can see the top of his head. What does that tell you? He is actually a height of 192. Right, I'm just going to delete the box. OK, so this is something you need to keep in mind when doing things on a scale for Unreal Engine 4. OK, so set up, quick run through, set up, delete everything, set your scale, set your lines and set your, cl your view clipping. OK, so that's what, 100,000, 100, scale 100, which should give you a nice enough area to play with and making your content it might be a bit big so you might want to change that down to 50 it's up to you but try and keep it decimal makes it all easier okay then and i'll leave it at that and if i can remember how to switch this recording off uh, yeah i'm still using cam studio 2 it's a good bit of kit See you later.